Hey everyone, it's the 24th of April, it's a Thursday evening and it's almost 10.30 at night. Now, one of my viewers wanted to see my um, sodium lamps. Well, I've got one old street light there, which is in full working order. I bought that last year on eBay actually. And uh, I've got these little floodlights that take the, um, I think it's a low pressure, I can't remember, <clears throat> but um, takes a sodium lamp, just a different style and type. So, in this video I'm going to switch this one on, as well as my spotlights. It does make a bit of noise when that one starts up. So I'm going to leave that there, I've got a sock covering the um, photo cell. Uh, yes, a, um, a viewer of mine, he wanted to see what lamps I've got. I've actually got two of these and that's the only street light I've got so far. But I didn't get both out because they're both identical so I didn't see the point. Um, so what we're going to do while that's heating up, we're going to put a nice new piece of flex on there, which is three cores, so it's got the earth in it as well. Even though this is plastic, this is earth, and I'm pretty certain it's earth because of this reflector. Actually, I can see two earth wires in that. Ah, it's going right down here to the metal bracket that's that the um, ballast is on. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this in a bit closer, so you can actually have a good look inside. There's the ballast right at the bottom with the start cap beside it. And a little light sensor right at the top there on the... Right on the top in the corner. So, what I want to do... I've got a plug ready and everything, so... That's now starting to turn orange. I used to love watching these as a kid. That's the whole reason I bought one. Or well, one of the reasons. Um, not for Pete's sake, that's going to be an absolute pain, isn't it, this one? Um, yeah. I've actually joined, or yeah, that was last year, I joined a Facebook, whoops, a Facebook group. Um, actually, I joined a couple for, well, they, it was entitled, was it? Streetlight Enthusiasts of Great Britain is one of them. I can't remember what the other one's called without looking. But anyway, um, I just took this off for absolutely no reason, possibly. There we go. I did take it off for no reason. <laughs> right. Yeah, because um, like I said, when I was little, I used to watch these turn on and um, watch them warm up. Don't know why, just fascinated me. Um, when I say little, I mean like sort of six, seven years old, something like that. So, I'm going to put this gland back on. more wire through. Tell you what, in a small area like this, these street like that's a 30 pretty certain that's a 35 watt one that one. It gets um quite bright. <laughs> I'm gonna let it heat up. So I need to uh, Make some connections in the lamp. There's all sorts of cobwebs and stuff on this because it is used. Right, I don't need a great deal stripped back. Yeah, I've actually got two lengths of this flex. Uh, one is for another project, which I will show you when we're done looking at these. And that will be the next video.
right, so all three was stripped back. And that's the pop off of there, which makes life a little bit easier. So, so three neutrals. Three neutrals going to there and two lives. And a screwdriver that I'm throwing around the kitchen. those anymore. No, that's good enough. What I do need is <coughs> just rip all three wires. Axel. I've got to repeat this process at process run not process. The other end. When I do the plug, I think that's at its full brightness now. That street light. It's pretty bright, isn't it? In fact, I think I'm sort of washing out the the video. So I think I will uh, unplug it. Right. So the blue wire's got to go there. One labelled with a very large M. Earth is in the middle. I don't know why, but on connections like this, even in your traditional sort of 500 watt floodlights, halogen floodlights, Earth was always in the middle. Even on fluorescent lights, when I've connected those up using these blocks, Earth is always in the middle. I don't know if there's any reason for that or, you know, if that's just why it was done. Right. Good. That no, not good. See, that's why you always give your wire a tuck. Obviously, that one wasn't in there good enough. Let's try that once more, shall we? I think I've got it this time. Yeah, that's got it. Right. Let's tuck that back. It's going to go underneath that thingy, reflector, like that. And that's got to go under the cord grip. is the screw for the core grip. because I don't intend to take this cable off. So we've got, we should have, six screws on the outside here. One, two, three. This is plastic, by the way. Four. That one's not in there straight. Yep, we've got six. Good. All right. Soon we'll be plugging this in. I have just completely redone all the electrics in my shed at Mum's because over the week, last weekend, I picked up a little fuse box from the car boot sales. Um, it's old. It's an old rewirable type fuse box, but. It was actually fitted with circuit breakers because back in the day you actually had two choices. You could go all out and had your fuse box replaced to a nice new one back then with circuit breakers or you could actually buy the um, 
or some circuit breakers that just fitted to your rewirable fuse box. Um, and you literally, you just took your fuse out, you just pulled your fuse out of the box, pushed a circuit breaker in. Obviously, if you're gonna, if you were gonna like change your five amp fuse to a breaker, you'd put a five amp breaker in place, or as close to that rating as possible. So I found one of them anyway, and I thought, well, that's better than what I've got in the shed at the moment, because I had, to, oops, I had uh, just a little fuse box with rewirable fuses, which I couldn't change. To, um, those breakers because the fittings were actually completely different um, and with my brother now having a caravan at the bottom of the garden which needs to be basically daisy chained off of my shed for power I figured that um, the upgrade would be a good call not that it was actually needed because um, he's got his own little fuse box in the caravan with um, RCD protection and whatnot. So I could have just connected it up, it wasn't you know hugely important, but at the same time I was also thinking well I'd also upgraded the power feed to my shed because I was actually using just some two core lawnmower cable, I suppose. You know, the bright orange stuff that's used on garden, electric garden tools. Not good. But it didn't bother me at the time because literally all I had on was a radio and a couple of lights. You know, there was no serious power draw there at all. Um, but uh, I wasn't comfortable because there wasn't an earth either. Well there was, there was an earth stake in the ground. Not anymore. Now that I've upgraded the cable to something much much thicker and tougher and uh, obviously it's got the uh, earth in it as well. I haven't got the earth stake in use because it's not needed. But uh, that and the electrics in my shed pissed me off because they looked so untidy. I did not do a tidy job when I put everything in. It was just pretty much just thrown in so it worked, you know. <laughs> Which um, is not the best way to do it, you know. The wires weren't clipped in tidily. So I just, as I was upgrading things and having to do the caravan anyway, um... I just thought I might as well just go all out and tidy everything up, so it did. Everything got tidied up. Still not 100%, you know, perfect. I wouldn't, you know, it's not so sort of showroom, I suppose. But it's a lot better. It's a lot safer, even though I haven't got an RCD. Although, I don't really use power tools in my shed anyway. And for the odd occasions when I do, I've got a plug-in RCD down there, so it's not that much of a worry either. You know, a lot of the power tools I use are over in my stepdad's workshop, so it's literally in mine, just lights and... Ow. That hurt. Lights and my little radio. I don't always have both on at the same time either. Right. I don't know why, when I'm wiring anything up, and I do this when I'm wiring up consumer units as well, I always start with the earth. Apart from when I work on these connector blocks where the earth is in the middle. It's the only exception. Plugs like this, I start with the earth. Earth neutral live. And when I'm doing consumer units, like I did in my brother's caravan and my shed, I should always start with the earth. I did the earth, and I did the neutral, and then I did the live. I have no idea why I do that. 
I don't even think about it when I'm, you know, doing things like this. I just do it. So, I guess it's just, you know, an automatic thing for me, just my automatic way to do it. They still do it, but when I was in high school, they actually taught you to wire up a plug. I don't know if they still do that, but that was one of the key things in science class that we had to learn how to wire up a plug. So that's considered a key skill back then. Live is actually always the fiddliest because it's always the shortest out of all three. He's just got a five amp fuse, wherever that rolled off to. It was on the worktop, I was under the cable. Right. That's what goes there, we're nearly done. plug is a bit more complicated to wire up than that. That is just a straightforward, you know, connection block. I've got to cut three wires at different lengths and measure them up and do the cord grip and all sorts with this. Oh, glad I checked that. That was actually quite loose. That's one thing you should always do as well. Just go back and check your screws. We're good. We'll pop our 5 amp fuse back in. We'll be fine for this. Chip the screwdriver, did I? No. Good. It's one of my favourite little screwdrivers, that one. Right, so if I can get this thing to stand. Three, two, one. Don't know if the light sensor is actually connected on this, we're about to find out. Because it'll go off. <laughs> right, while that is actually heating up. That is actually going to get bright, so I don't think I'll let that get to its full brightness. As you know, from my video I did on all those lights, I had this one that I bought on eBay. Which I said was a homemade job, and I'm pretty certain it is because it's a crappy bit of wood. Well, got a plug on it. One of the lamps do work, as I'll show you. See? But my plan is to strip everything off there because this wire is very old and crap. It's not double insulated wire like this is, it's just single strands of wire twisted together connected to this little junction box and that is it. It is as simple as that. So what I thought is I need some extra lighting in the lounge at the minute. I would uh, Dismantle this whole thing. Take out this bulb. That one's the blown one, so that isn't no good. And I've got replacements anyway. In fact, I have LED replacements, which are over here. See? To go in when I'm done. Uh, yep. Our fire engine's just gone out. You're probably wondering, how do I know that when I, there is no siren? I'm that much of a geek when it comes to the fire service and my own fire engine that I actually know the engine sound. That and the fire station is literally just behind us in sort of that direction. <laughs> literally a stone's throw away. So yeah, what I want to do, I've got a piece of board in my shed in the process of being painted up. I tried to paint it with some white spray paint, but the wood I used actually absorbed it. <laughs> it wasn't very good. <laughs> so um, I had some silver paint that I'd used on a project quite some time ago, so I just opened that tin up and I've given one side a nice coat and around the edge. 
but I couldn't do the other side because it does take a long while to dry this specific paint I'm using but what I need to do because of this wire that's all going to have to be rewired and I'm not kidding I found this out the other day look at this they're just pressed in there they're just pressed into this aluminium shroud um, what I am hoping is that I can take these off and either solder or reattach new wires to these. Obviously I'm going to have to run long live one down there with a bit of double insulation. I've actually got a bit of flex over there. The, I'm not sure how I'm going to ground this yet and I wouldn't mind actually if I've got enough room. I'm going to give it all a nice good clean up. So there's a little muck on there. Ooh, that is actually getting bright. I'm going to have to turn that one off. Oh, 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 that actually hurt my eyes. But yeah, they are literally, that's all it is. They're just pushed in. I'll bring these wires in. So my project is to basically build all of this onto a new piece of board. Nice painted one. I'm going to take these off. In fact, I might as well dismantle it now. Bloody hell, screws are not even in there straight. They're in, in at an angle. This was put together quite, you know, abruptly, I think, in a, in a bit of a hurry. But I'm going to straighten out these um, shrouds as well, because I just want them on there for looks. Because, I don't know if you can see it, but I've got... No, you can't. Hang on. I've got that shelf now and it's blocking out my spotlight so I didn't think of that when I put the shelf up there. So I thought if I can remake this and make this fitting look nice, um, just for shits and giggles, shit, yeah, I'll try that again, shits and giggles I might reuse this junction box because it's old but there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and I was thinking great you know, Reuse this and fix it underneath that shelf. Just have it plug into my extension outlet down there. Yeah, actually, I think I can get away with a lot of this. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not sure I'm happy with that being press fitted into this though. But yeah, I'm going to get some steel wool tomorrow. I'm going to clean these up because there's a lot of. I don't know if there's actually corrosion or what it is. I'm sure. This is aluminium. Yeah, it is. It's not magnetic. I'm going to do away with that bit of wood, like I said. And I've got a new bit. I'm in the process of... It's got paint on the back of this, so I'm guessing these lights may have been fitted elsewhere. This is the only bit that might stumble me. What we'll do, just quickly... Let's see if I can take off one of these brackets. I might need a larger flathead. Nope, that one's unscrewed. Because if I can't reattach a wire, if I've got to solder it, then I'm going to have to solder it. But the other thing I'm going to have to do as well... I have just broken my screwdriver. <laughs> I like that screwdriver. Cool. Yeah, that one's a bit tight. Let's just screw that screw back in so I don't lose it. Screws look a bit rusty, so it's definitely some age to it, but it's the only part that has rusted. Now I'm going to need a larger screwdriver. I'm going to have to take off these um, holders. Most definitely. Ah! Oh, I see. There's a little nut in there, in that little notch. So you've only got to loosen it off, and then I should be able to slide those off. Like I said, I'm going to need a larger flathead, and I don't have one up here. I'm pretty certain I don't have one up here. That's probably why I snapped that screwdriver, actually. So, yeah. 
As these aren't basically designed to come apart, I'm guessing I can replace those wires, which will be great. And, uh, let me make sure this fits well. I'm going to figure out what's the spring in. Yep. Now with these, I didn't actually know if these existed until I went into the store looking because the store I went into used to do these ones, you know, the old filament ones. But I'm guessing these got banned as well. What is this? 250 volts, 60 watt. And I don't have any that long. I've got the short ones. That's a 284 mil, that one. These are LEDs. You've got to obviously have this bit facing downwards because that's where your LEDs is. Then you've got the backing bit there. Um... These are Energizer ones as well. They're not a bad price. Well, pricey for an LED at four ninety nine each. But I figured, you know, I'd get them all on the new board, get them on there. In fact, I could probably one might be adequate enough, but I like the look of the two side by side. So tomorrow I must pop into Roy's before I go to Mum's to get myself some steel wool. And then maybe I can um, do a full video on this and put it all together. I actually can't get over the fact that this is just all plastic. <laughs> I think I'm just used to these being glass. But uh, yeah, maybe. perhaps I should have tried these before I took it apart. Never mind. Put that in there. They do the um, shorter ones in LEDs as well. I've actually got... These are small Crompton filament ones, strip lights as they call them, or a tubular lamp as Crompton calls it. Roy's, where I got the LED ones, actually call that strip light. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, this is miles too short, see. <laughs> These I keep as spares for the one I've got lighting up my closet in the hallway there. I found them, what were they? Has this still got a price sticker on? I think it has. 75 pence in a charity shop. So I grabbed a whole bunch of them. I've got some. Got a few more at the back here as well. Oh, really? Look what I just found. I could have saved me money. I didn't realise that was hiding up the back there. In my, um, <coughs> cupboard of bulbs. Oh well, I've got a couple of um, 60 watt filament ones, spare. <laughs> oh. Try to flip the lens out and a bloody camera, let me just tighten that up a bit. I like to keep it loose because if it's too tight, it makes that creaky noise and that drives me up the wall and it probably drives you guys up the wall as well. Uh, I've got some more tucked behind here. What is tucked behind this lot? This video has dragged on a little longer than I am. Oh, that's another short one. So I've got four. I can't remember what the um, length of these ones are. 221 mil, I think, was the length of the short ones. Those were 284. May not be any good after that one. What was that? Um, nothing to worry about. Yeah, so I'm going to get all that dismantled, and my plan is is to get everything ready for reassembly, and I'll do a video reassembling this fitting, homemade fitting. I'm not actually sure if these are homemade um, sort of diffusers. I'm guessing that's what the purpose is, you know, an aluminium diffuser to diffuse the light. Don't think that's going to be necessary with the LEDs, but like I said, I just want these back on just for the aesthetics. I think with a buff up with some, perhaps some softer steel wool, should be alright. But uh, these wires, they're a dead giveaway to how old this is. So, 
Yeah, I'm going to say that the chances are someone made this in a, like a, a workbench lamp or something. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there because, like I said, this dragged on a little bit longer than I wanted it to. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Hope you liked the video, and I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.